So you're a Californian and you're relocating to Central Oregon. Well, I'm here to tell you today why you should skip and pass on Bend and choose Redmond as opposed to Bend. So if a video like this sounds like it could be of interest and value to you as a Californian looking to relocate to Central Oregon, stick around. I'm jumping right into this polarizing topic right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel or your 50th, doesn't matter to me. And you wanna know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, where you should relocate to from out of the area, like maybe California, then subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market happenings here in Bend and Redmond and Central Oregon. My name's Ryan. I've lived in Bend for over 30 years. Zach and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help on their next transaction as it relates to real estate. So whether you're selling, you need to list it locally, or you're already here, you need to buy something locally, or you're out of the area, like maybe in Southern California somewhere, or the Bay Area, and you're looking to relocate to Central Oregon, we wanna be the ones that help you figure out where it is you should be here in Central Oregon so you make the right decision upon arrival. So with all that being said, give us a call when it's your time, we'll set something up and we can discuss your next transaction and put together a plan. Today's video is gonna be all about the reasons why a Californian who's relocating to Central Oregon should pass on Bend and choose Redmond instead. I put together a list, I got five distinct reasons why I think Californians should choose Redmond over Bend. We're gonna be jumping into number one, the cost of living in Redmond is significantly less than it is in Bend. Right now, uh, you've got Central Oregon, right? You got the, the landscape, the mountains, Smith Rock, you got the lakes, uh, Central Oregon, Central Oregon. You can live out in La Pine or Sisters. You could live out in Terrebonne. Um, some people that are relocating from larger areas like California, they want a little bit of hustle and bustle, maybe a smidge. They need something because everywhere they go in Central Oregon is going to be considerably smaller than where they came from, especially if it's from, if it's from a big city. Redmond is a better fit from a cost standpoint, from an affordability standpoint. If you're from the Bay Area, if you're from LA or San Diego and you're selling your home and you're relocating up to Central Oregon, Bend or Redmond, you have to decide, okay, you want value? Well, you're gonna choose Redmond over Bend. Right now, the median home price in Bend is 750,000. Right now, the median home price in Redmond is under $525,000. So over $200,000 in terms of a difference for the exact same lifestyle that Central Oregon provides anybody that's relocating. You still get the same mountains, you still get the same lakes, you still get the same weather and climate. You get all that stuff, it's all the same when comparing Redmond to Bend. But what's the big difference? Well, the price and the cost of living. You can have fantastic mountain views of the Cascades in your backyard up on a hill in Redmond and pay 250,000 or more uh, less in terms of price for that same home that would be located in Bend. So when people are relocating from the California area, they're looking for value. They don't wanna just trade expensive place in California for next expensive place in a different state. Okay, you can do that. There's still some value to be had in Bend, but if you're looking for a real bang for your buck, a real, a real value play, you're gonna be looking at Redmond, only 15 miles apart from Bend, why wouldn't you consider Redmond as opposed to Bend if you're looking to maximize the value that you're looking for in a relocation? You spent all that time living in the Bay Area. You spent all that time living in Southern California and paying and dealing with the traffic and the chaos of all that. Why not exchange that for real value? You can get some value in Bend, but you get real value if you consider Redmond as opposed to Bend when relocating from California. Reason number two, why a Californian would choose and should choose Redmond over Bend. Costco, okay? The new Costco is slated to open up any moment now, okay? It, as of this recording, it's late September. We have an October 19th date 
slated for a brand new Costco opening up on the northwest side of town. In fact, it is so close to Redmond uh, in comparison to the old Costco. The old Costco is on the east side of town. It's hard to get to. You got to go through uh, city streets to get there. The traffic, the parking was horrible. The building was small and outdated. Now we've got a brand new Costco that's literally going to be right on the northwest edge of Bend. In fact, it might be easier to get to as a person living in Redmond than some people living in certain spots of Bend. I'm not kidding when I say that. You can hop on the parkway in Bend if you can get to the parkway. And if not, you're gonna be weaving through traffic to try and get to the northwest side of town. Redmond, hop on Highway 97, and within 10 to 12 minutes, you're gonna be right there where the Costco shopping center is. In fact, the north edge of Bend is now the premier area for shopping in all of Bend and Central Oregon. And Redmond people, people that live over there can probably get there and access it better than people in Bend can. So I kid you not, this brand new Costco is gonna be 185,000 square feet, gas station, it's gonna have a car wash, it's gonna draw so many other businesses too. It's gonna to be crazy. This whole north end of town is where Home Depot is, it's Lowe's, it's Best Buy, it's Trader Joe's. Imagine the additional businesses that Costco attracts. So think of any other Costco where you like to go shopping, whatever whatever town you're in. Imagine all those small mom and pop style businesses or those other bigger corporations like the maybe In-N-Out Burger someday. Okay, Redmond. Okay, that'd be easy to get to. We got Chick-fil-A on the North End already. So in terms of its location, Costco is going to be a real convenience for Redmond folk because a lot of times people that do live in Redmond currently, the only reason they do go to Bend is because they got to go to Costco. And so the location is so inconvenient for people in Redmond right now that they end up going there once a month. Right now, if you live in Redmond, you're relocating from California, it's just a quick uh, trip up the parkway or, or our Highway 97, and you're gonna be in this uh, very awesome just shopping area that is Bend, but it's gonna be so close to you in Redmond uh, upon your arrival. You're gonna really enjoy the fact that you can be in a slower pace of Redmond, slower town, less traffic, all that stuff, but also be uh, really close in proximity to all the shopping that Bend is known for and, ha and provides while not having to go into the actual town of Bend if you don't want to. So Costco's location, what that's gonna do for the north end of Bend is actually a huge benefit for Californians who are choosing to relocate to Redmond instead of Bend. Reason number three, why a Californian should choose Redmond as opposed to Bend when it comes to relocation. Central Oregon is a high desert climate. We're at the foothills of the Cascade Mountains, but there are different flavors of Central Oregon once you get down the slope from the mountains. Okay, we got Lapine at 4,200 feet, Sun River 4,200 feet. You've got Bend at 3,600 feet. Some spots it's like 38 or 3,900 feet. Redmond is significantly lower. The further north you go, the lower you get in elevation. It's gonna be at about 3,000 feet. So think about the snow accumulation throughout the course of a winter. Lapine and Sun River get substantial volumes of snow and it sticks around at 4,200 feet. Ben gets some snow too, but it's nothing uh, in comparison to the lack of snow that's in Redmond, okay? Redmond will get snow, but it will go down and it will melt off significantly sooner than it would in Bend at uh, seven to 800 feet higher in terms of its elevation. So the climate is much more mild. Some Californians, we've had some people that have come in over the last six to eight months, especially in the winter time towards the end of the winter, and they decide, I've, I'll come visit, but I ain't gonna live here because it is so uh, extreme in terms of the winter compared to where they were coming from in California. So if you want a little stepping stone into the Central Oregon lifestyle with the value and the slow pace of life and the outdoor amenities and the sunshine, uh, but you want to deal with less of a severe winter, Redmond might be your best bet because it's a great town with 40,000 people. Plenty of amenities, plenty of things that it offers, but it also has significantly more of a mild winter. It's gonna get some snow, it's gonna get some ice, but it will warm up. It's generally a rule of thumb, it's gonna be about three to five degrees warmer, maybe sometimes even more uh, warmer per daytime high in Redmond than opposed in Bend. 
so that's something to consider too uh, when it comes to relocating as a Californian to the Central Oregon area. You want a climate where you can adjust to. Um, Redmond is very close to say the Powell Butte area, very close to the Prineville area. Those are all areas that have even more of a mild style climate in terms of its winter compared to Bend or compared to Sun River or compared to say a Lapine. But um, the snow accumulation is gonna be substantially less in Redmond than it will be in Bend. So that's another reason why uh, you as a Californian should opt for Redmond as opposed to Bend. Okay, reason number four, why a Californian should choose Redmond to relocate to as opposed to Bend. Pretty simple, the outdoor amenities the Mecca of Central Oregon, that Bend gets all this notoriety for, and Bend is nationally famous for having Mount Bachelor or having Smith Rock. Well, guess what? Redmond has it too. In fact, Smith Rock is way closer to Redmond than it is in Bend. So you have to drive through Redmond from Bend to get to Smith Rock. Okay, so why doesn't Redmond get credit for it? Well, it does, and it will continue to do so. You can still get to Mount Bachelor from Redmond, um, with about 20 extra minutes of time. So it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but Ben gets all this notoriety, but let's be honest, Central Oregon is Central Oregon. People wanna figure out a way to get here. And if you can want, if you want the real value play, the cost of living value coming from California, Redmond's your spot. Plus it has access to all these outdoor amenities and Mecca type activities that otherwise Bend likes to brag that they have, but they're closer to Redmond anyway. Lake Billy Chinook, you love the lake life? Okay, Lake Billy Chinook's gonna be north of Redmond, even further north of uh, from Bend by about 15 minutes. It's really close to Redmond. Smith Rock State Park is a fantastic, picturesque hiking area with these boulders that go up hundreds of feet. Reminds you a little bit of Yosemite National Park with just the verticality uh, of these boulders. The Crooked River goes right through it. It's fantastic, very good spot to go hike at least once a year. You gotta go at least once a year. There's 800,000 people that actually go to Smith Rock and enjoy just the picturesque, the scene of uh, Smith Rock, the Crooked River every single year. Um, that's where Terrebonne is. That's where like the pumpkin patches are in the fall. That's where people from Bend all go to to visit. You gotta go through Redmond. It's closer to Redmond still, once again. Prineville, Le uh, Prineville Reservoir is another great lake out to the east. Powell Butte, Versada Ranch, Juniper Preserve, all these things uh, that Bend is known for, these are, they're actually closer to Redmond. So location is fantastic. But again, if you want the Cascade Lake Scenic Byway, you want Mount Bachelor, you want Palina Lake, you want Palina Peak, all that stuff, sure, it's still in Central Oregon, but it's, and you can still get there from Redmond, no problem. It's really not that far. So um, that's number four. We're talking about the outdoor activities. Redmond has every opportunity to brag and boast about their outdoor recreational op opportunities that Ben does. It's just Ben is a little bit older, more grown up, has a little bit more than notoriety. But Redmond has it too. It's fine. You can get anywhere you need to go in uh, from Redmond to other parts of Central Oregon in a very timely manner. And some of them are actually closer to Redmond than they are Ben. So literally no problem at all. You get the same outdoor activities, Mecca, all that, all that stuff that Bend is known for right in Redmond. So that's another huge advantage to choosing Redmond if you're a Californian looking to relocate. Okay, number five, this will be the final reason today. I know, kind of a polarizing topic today. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments there. I can't wait to respond to you guys. Uh, the, the makeup of Redmond, the, the, central, the central aspect of Redmond is number five. It's kind of the hub of Central Oregon. I wouldn't be surprised if Redmond in 50 years is actually a bigger town than Bend. I wouldn't be surprised. The airport's already there, the fairgrounds are already there. It's actually closer in terms of a drive to Eugene or Salem or Portland. Uh, it's a little bit warmer of a climate. So all these things kind of add up and as Redmond gets a little bit more uh, in terms of its population and a little bit more traction, I mean, it could grow significantly faster. There could be a lot, there's a lot of people that are actually in Bend trying to move to Redmond as well. So it's not just Californians, uh, but uh, let's be honest, this is kind of a joke uh, in terms of kind of taking digs at Californians because uh, it's such a polarizing thing. I mean, I'm sure that happens wherever, which, whatever town is getting a lot of influx of population. Let's just blame the Californians. But the reality is, is we've got people that are calling us 
uh, from all over the world. We've got people all over the country, but we've got other countries too. People are reaching out to us, looking to relocate to Central Oregon. Where is it? Well, Redmond is an absolute fantastic location. It's the central hub of uh, Central Oregon. Uh, they've got the airport, they've got the fairgrounds like I touched on. The downtown is actually considerably improved compared to where it was just 15 years ago. The highway, 97, used to go right through downtown. So imagine semi-trucks that are trying to get to California from Washington State. They have to go right through downtown Redmond is uh, as recent as say 2010 or 2012, I mean, that's silly. So Redmond's really growing up, it's catching up, the value play still exists. The new downtown, as the highway goes around downtown now, is absolutely more traditional. It's a, it's drawing so many more mom and pop shops, restaurants, things like that. Just a great little vibe down there. Um, the Dry Canyon is a cool little park type thing. It's a three mile Dry Canyon. Go figure, but there it's equipped with uh, all kinds of trails in there. There's bike trails, there's hike trails, there's tennis courts, there's baseball fields, there's an off-leash dog park, among many other things and amenities. But it's something that Ben doesn't even have. It's this crazy just canyon that goes right through the center of Redmond. But it's a great outdoor offering inside the city limits. So you don't have to go outside of town if you don't want to. Um, so Redmond has absolutely incredible advantages over Bend when it comes to say relocating from California or Texas or Washington. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, but it's a great spot and it's something that you should absolutely consider, especially if you're looking for all the things that I listed here in today's video, uh, especially with value. There's so much value to be had in Redmond as opposed to Bend, but there's still value in Bend as well. But um, Hopefully this provides you some perspective. If you're watching this for the first time, we've had an influx of new viewers over the last couple of weeks. And so there's a good chance that you don't know a lot about Redmond yet. We wanna put it on the map for you. So when you do reach out to us, you can at least present, hey, is Redmond gonna be something that could be a fit for me based off the conversations that we have about you wanting to relocate to the Central Oregon area, whether it's from California, whether it's from Hawaii, whether it's from Arizona, Texas, or somewhere else. Um, again, we get calls from people all over the place going as far east as the East Coast, up in the Boston area. We've got some people that have called us down in Central America as well. So again, it's not just Californians. We do appreciate you. We want to help you find the right spot the first time upon arrival. That's why we have these videos and that's why we provide this hopefully, uh, hopeful uh, the value of these videos is what's giving you the context and know kind of where you may want to go check out when you do arrive so we can find you that spot the first time you get you get here and then we can uh, do a deal together. So anyway, my name's Ryan. I'm a licensed broker with eXp Realty. So thankfully you guys are watching. If you haven't done so, please like the video, subscribe, maybe drop a comment. This will be a really hot topic type video where we could get a lot of commentary in the comment section. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.